It is Sunday the 11th of December. It's evening time. It's race day. It was race today. It did go ahead. Spoiler alert for those of you who don't want to watch all the way through because it was an epic race and an epic journey to get there and an epic journey to get back. It's now early evening time so hopefully I've edited this in time for you to see on race day. Spoiler alert. I did get a lifetime PB. Oh! I won't tell you what time it was, you have to watch all the way through and also you have to stick to the very end to see if I did qualify on the England Masters place. Remember I had to come top three for a guaranteed place and yes, let's just say it was an epic journey getting there through snowstorms and whatever but I've got to give a big shout out before we go into the details, I do mention it in the video as well, a massive massive shout out to the Telford Athletic Club and all the organizers to get that event to happen because I literally drove through a snowstorm to get there, yeah? But they gritted the whole course, it was ready to go. Yes, it was freezing conditions, sub-zero, whatever, but we were able to safely run. As you can see, I'm in one piece, I ran it, I finished it, got a lifetime personal best, which is, I'm absolutely over the moon, absolutely brilliant. And I love you guys supporting the comments each and every time. If that doesn't deserve a subscribe to this channel, thumbs up and hit that alarm bell. I don't know what does, yeah? So be sure to hit that. And a big shout out to everybody who I met today. And you'll see some of the people, some of them I put on film, some weren't on film, but absolutely amazing. I, you can tell I had, I, I feel amazing right now. During the race, it was another thing, but let the story unfold and I'll catch you at the end where I'll go through my placement and uh, where I came and so on and so forth. And, and also, did I get that elusive England Masters 10K place? Tip top trippers, I've arrived at the car park here for this start of the race and oh boy, was it a journey. Um, I'm just gonna head over and try and get my bearings, but um, let's go back a little while and see the journey getting here. Well guys, driving along the motorway here, it's beginning to sleet and snow, it's very foggy. And uh, again, I mean, it's still a long way to get there, you know, so the weather could be quite different where we are, but we're going north. And normally when you're going north, it gets colder. Um, I appreciate that the organizers put up a post and uh, they're saying it was zero degrees, frost isn't as bad as expected and they're going to grit it and everything like that. But with the way this snow is coming down, this sleet here, I don't know if you can hear it, the noise on the roof there, but it, it's coming down quite not good. I don't feel, personally, I don't feel comfortable. I'll, I'll get to the start of the race, but I don't feel comfortable with this at all. It's coming down quite heavily now. Well, as predicted, this is so bad. Heavy, heavy snow coming down here. Uh, I mean, I'm gonna persist to get to the uh, the race but I can't see this going ahead at all it is proper heavy heavy snow coming down here um, this wasn't on the forecast and I'm really disappointed not just for myself but for the organizers who really put in the effort to make this go ahead but you can't you know this wasn't forecast man Praise the Lord, I've driven through a blizzard and now it seems to have cleared up. We've got about five miles to get to Telford. Whilst it's still snowing, it's not as heavy as it was a few miles back. So astonishing microclimates here. But uh, yeah, it, the roads are clear, everything's clear here. I can't believe it, honestly, I can't believe it. So let's hope it's still going ahead. Let's see what happens when we get there. Persistence, you see, persistence. Yeah, as you can see, for me, very traumatic. I, I mean, yeah, it, it wasn't good at all, but uh, we're here now. There's lots of athletes all congregating, so I'm gonna go and get my bearings because I'm not on till the second wave. 
Cheers. Looking forward to this race? Uh, yeah, yeah, it's Thank something you. I do every year. The weather conditions aren't brilliant today, but hopefully it won't affect the race too yeah. much. Course record last year. Are you going to go yeah. for it again this year? Fingers crossed. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try my best. <laughs> Absolutely, all the very best of luck. Fantastic seeing you here. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. How about that, eh? Samantha Harrison. How random is that bumping into her? Amazing athlete. As I say, she's, the, uh, she's got the course record. She completed the course record last year in 32 minutes. 32 minutes. That's incredible. So um, lovely, lovely lady. And uh, yeah, checking the course, doing a course recce like all elite athletes and so many guys all running up and down here. I've got to say, the course is absolutely amazing. And... Uh, Compared to what it was like when I was here a couple of weeks back, it does look very um, different. So they've done a great job here, keeping it clear. So I'm gonna have a little wander around. I mean, it is all frosty and cold all around uh, the surrounding areas, but at least here it's good. So um, I can do me warm up up and down here and oh, I'm getting super pumped now. So I've got that extra boost. So thank you for that, Sam. Great to uh, see you. <laughs> Well, as you do, firstly, I bump into Sam Harrison, you know, top elite athlete, but I bump into two top <laughs> masters runners here, uh, fellow YouTubers, Yay. John and Dawn, in the two running brooms. <laughs> All set, you've already done a course recce, yeah? Because yeah. obviously you're so proper serious athletes. We're so committed to now, so we came down here yesterday at nine o'clock and did a recce for everybody. <laughs> I did see that. I did see the Telford Park run, so well done on that. Yes. So, but you're both saying it's completely different to what it was yesterday, so they've clearly done some job. They've done yeah. a huge Huge, huge yeah. good job the race organisers. Yeah, yeah gritted all the way down. Yeah. We're not being out on the back of the course yet, but yeah. we're told it's being yeah. gritted. Yeah. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. So ready for a fast and furious one. A fast start. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, great to finally meet you. See yeah. you on the course. Absolutely. Fantastic seeing John and Dawn there. Finally, when you get to meet the real people behind the uh, YouTube um, courses, but as we were saying there, speaking with Dawn and John, they were here on this course yesterday for the park run and they've really done a great job clearing this. Super clear, so I've got to get the A-game on, yeah? I've got the hat on. Got to get the A-game. So, uh, yeah. Now I've just got to work out in my mind what clothes to put on. Yes, the singlet will be on, but do I go with a um, T-shirt underneath or do I go singlet and sleeves? Obviously gloves is a given, that's 100% given that is. Uh, speaking of which, my hands are already beginning to get cold here, so I might head back to the van or the international centre there. But, uh, but yeah, all the elite guys are all warming up now and uh, getting ready, because 10.30 is uh, their start, and mine is at 10 past 11. So here we are at the finish point. Yes, let's have a little uh, walk around here. We'll need to keep clear. Yes, got all the medical teams all out there getting ready. There's the lake. So yes, here is, here is the finish line. This is where we'll be running through. Yeah, finish! And here is Wonderland with the dinosaurs and everything like that. So uh, yeah, it is properly gritted everywhere. So I'm super happy with this. So yes, wonderful Christmas time. Oh yes. The music coming from Wonderland. I know, I know. Should we be singing along? Might get a copyright strike here on YouTube. That's why you put a warm up. And here I am at the 5k mark. It's a two loop course. Two times five makes ten. No flies on me, eh? But I've got to give a big shout. As I'm walking along the course here, it has been properly gritted all the way round. So I haven't gone out through the back bit, but all along here, 
it has been properly gritted. So hats off to Telford Athletics Club. Dave, all those guys organising that I've seen on Facebook and uh, having to uh, put up with all sorts of um, shenanigans on, but that's social media, people posting all sorts of things on there. But yeah, it's fantastic to see this. Yes, it's bitterly cold, but we will dress appropriately for this and uh, get ready for the race. All set, guys. We. Yes, Wonderland does have a few dinosaurs here, but hopefully I won't be a dinosaur today, and I'll be putting in an epic, epic race. I don't know if I mentioned this, maybe once or twice, or you may have read it on the interwebs, but this race, the Telford 10K is I think officially the fastest 10k in the UK and seeing some of the runners here I can see why basically some of the athletics club it is literally all over the UK and um, as far as I understand it's national championships as well as masters races here so um, yeah so I'm back at the start Whew. I need to acclimatize to uh, this soon ish uh, I haven't checked the exact time but uh, yeah, 10 past 11 is my start and I'm gonna head over to the International Centre to warm up. Gotta get you on camera, buddy. How you doing? It's the man himself. Yeah, How yeah. you doing? Good to see you. Good to finally meet you. Yeah, same so as you. So this is where the elite people or sub-elite hang out. I shouldn't be here then. Are you sure? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm gonna come about 100th yeah. here, but uh, I didn't yeah. know you were on for this 10K. I entered a while ago. There yeah. was a little while where I thought I might do the Battersea one yesterday. Uh -huh. But you know, I lately I've been uh, Pretty keen on just getting amongst uh, yeah, a big yeah, race yeah. and not wearing. I'm not even going to wear a watch today. Because wanna... your buddy's gone to the Battersea one, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Or, or is he here? Is he? I know oh, he ran yesterday. Right he ran yesterday. 31:02, oh, I think. Ooh. Yeah. Amazing. But my travel schedule was so that I got back to the UK very late Friday. Yeah. And I needed yeah, an extra yeah, day. Yeah. I entered this well before. But this must be so... warm compared to Colorado. <laughs> uh, it depends what you're talking about. But um, no, it's actually this is. You know what? This battery went flat so I missed the end of that chat but here I am in the baggage area and it's lovely and warm and roasty toasty here so in terms of energy saving the next you're gonna see is this camera on my chest here and we're gonna go for it let's go <coughs> Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Well done. Well done, everyone. 
Lifetime PV. Massive like trunks of snow. Oh, that's tough, isn't it? It's tough, really tough. Oh, look, I got snow on me, camera. How did you go? Just under 30 days, but personal best. Happy days. Not bad. Conditions. Oh, yeah. First. Hi, right, well, you no, right, How are you doing? Oh, yeah, you done all right? Yeah. How's it run? Fucking hard. Oh, as yeah. you can see, I'm covered in snow. Oh, so, I can uh, see you, but yeah. But yeah, and you? Good? Yeah, I was on the fist, fist, fist. Uh, so, How yeah. did you get on? Yeah, about day three. Fantastic, uh, yeah. fantastic. Oh, Great it? for the Brooks running team. Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to go somewhere warm. Nice to meet you, mate. Well, that was tough as hell, and here I am with Cliff. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, what's he, tough? he was watching my stuff last night, doing a bit of recce, <laughs> but that was super tough. <laughs> how did you toss? Thirty-seven, fifty-seven, I think. Fantastic, so. fantastic. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. So just behind me, but fantastic. Yeah, well done. Tough, tougher than Lee's Abbey Dash. Isn't a lot it? tougher, yeah. yeah. Definitely. So remember that, guys. Lee's Abbey Dash, much easier than this. <laughs> Camera back on, and I'm here, right in the changing room, getting all changed. And this lady comes up to me, Mary, saying, "I like her Strava." How you doing? I'm great, thank you. you Enjoyed today's race? Oh, I just wanted it to be done, to be honest. Yeah. But um, I think the weather conditions—they were really tough with the blizzards yeah, in my face. Yeah, the snow was coming down quite heavily. Oh yeah, wasn't it? but I just wanted it to be done. So yeah. well um, done. And you got yeah. a personal best as well, didn't you? Yeah, definitely. Time yeah. of about 38. 30, I think. Fantastic. Well done, mate. Brilliant. Yes, I am now back in the uh, changing area, baggage area, whatever you want to call it. The battery, um, the camera was having a bit of a whatever dipsy outside, and I, I was so cold I didn't want to fiddle about. But anyway, I'm here. Race is done. I haven't had the official time, but fingers crossed, I think I do have a lifetime PB. I couldn't ask any more than that. It was super tough out there, but I'll give you a resume back in the van or back home whenever it is because it's been a bit of an expedition getting here and I'm sure it's going to be a bit of an expedition getting home as well. Here I'm back with Samantha Harrison. Sam, as fondly know, we did say early before the race, would you go for the PB? What happened? PB! <laughs> it's only a small PB, but a PB is a PB. And you've got, show us your medal, you've got gold medal. First yes, place. yes, yeah. got the gold medal. Yeah, for the little England. And the little, uh, <laughs> brilliant. As you were saying earlier, this is an indication of your amazing fitness it continues to improve yeah yeah I mean I wasn't quite sure what to expect especially with the conditions yeah. and um, yeah it's sort of winter you know big big training block so you don't really and I didn't really taper so you're not quite sure what to expect um, but yeah to run a, a small PB at this time of year um, just goes to show uh, like next year hopefully I'll be able to run you know quicker than that yeah fantastic Sam many congratulations to you and well done on first place thank again. you thank, thank you, you. Yes, the snow continues to fall let's head back it's beginning to look a lot like christmas let's go what a race what a race what a race what a day i am still I, i'm you know wor words almost fail me in terms of what a brilliant time uh, that was i didn't feel it at all you know, as you can imagine when you saw with the traveling up, I did get quite spooked with all that snow. It was quite stressful driving up for me and I didn't feel on form. It was fantastic bumping into Samantha Harrison and congratulations Sam on a new PB and a course record again at the Telford uh, 10K. And also bumping into the, the, the two running brooms, the sweaterly other YouTubers out there and other guys, some were on film, some not on film absolutely fantastic and a lot of you coming out a lot of you cheering on the course in those freezing conditions shouting out go Donato go Donato it really did help but for me sadly I wasn't feeling it at all and I was really lagging in the second half I don't know what it was as I say whether it was the stress of the journey lack of sleep all that types of stuff yes excuses but these are things for a 10k you need to be on the button 
the A game needs to be there. But I still, after all that, managed a lifetime PB. I'm absolutely over the moon. So you're wondering, where did I come in the Masters play? So yeah, getting a lifetime PB, fantastic. In terms of the Masters placing, I came, <laughs> I didn't come top three. I came, right, on the official time, and it has me down as sixth, sixth place. Um, but one of the guys came in on a gun time that was quicker than me. But in terms of finishing time, chip time was slower than me. So chip time, I came in fifth. So unless there's any rollback where some, some of the top, the guys above me already have an England place, then it may come down and roll down to me. Because obviously if I'm running against people who've already qualified, they've already got their place. So it's a top three per race. So unfortunately I missed out on this race, but who knows what may come into the future. But it's been an unbelievable training block. Eight weeks of 10K training. And I'm normally doing, as I say, marathons, half marathons. I did have that Droitwich half marathon. And thank you for the prize air in terms of the uh, age category win. And also Bradford City half marathon as well, where I got the age category win there as well. So lovely prizes. I do love getting the uh, Amazon vouchers. Shoe vouchers, £20 here, £10 here. It all helps going towards the rent, as they say. But thank you all so much for staying to the very end. You can reward yourself by giving this video a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that alarm bell so you don't miss future videos. And I'm looking forward to sharing you the journey because there's a lot of exciting things coming in 2023, which I want to be sharing with you. And I'll be going through also in terms of the getting started beginners. So if you know anyone who's doing London Marathon, I'll be doing a specific beginners London Marathon course for everybody that I'll be going through with a uh, celebrity, shall we say. And uh, yes, I'll be going through that, you know, a, an A-list celebrity uh, as opposed to a YouTubing celebrity. So uh, I'll be going through uh, that, which is really exciting. I'm looking forward to sharing that with you guys. And also my journey itself, which you've seen from the books that I've learned from this training block, and I'll be taking that forward when my actual London Marathon block does start for that. The Marathon Block training does start. So thank you so much for staying to the end. And I'm looking forward to sharing. It will probably be a Saturday. Smiles will be coming next week in terms of me talking to you, but I will be sharing the full 10K race video. Apologies for the um, blurriness or whatever, because it was snowing during the race. Yep. Can't do anything about that. I can't have a windscreen wiper on my lens. So it did, <laughs> you did get the wet particles, but boy, we know, we know we'd had a race there. Not only was it sub-zero, my arms were getting really cold. I had the t-shirt on underneath. I went for t-shirt and double gloves. Yeah, double gloves because it was that cold. Single gloves, single layer gloves wasn't enough. Needed the double gloves. But I will be going through a full review of the race once I get my thoughts together and so on. But right now I feel just totally elation. That is lifetime personal best at all distances, apart from marathon, which I missed by about 20 seconds. We all know what happened, unfortunately, uh, in April or it was towards the end of March before Manchester Marathon. Unfortunately, I pulled one of my muscles and I couldn't run at uh, race pace. So I was only 20 seconds off my lifetime PB there. So who knows for 2023, some incentive for you guys to support and put down on here. Can I beat my lifetime personal best next year in 2023 for the marathon and make the full set? So that's 5K, 10K, half marathon, all lifetime bests this year in 2023. And hopefully it inspires you guys, whatever your ages are, that I'm showing to you guys in real you know, this is a bit like, you know, from that video, it's more like a uh, reality TV show, but it is actual real stuff as opposed to scripted. So it is real as it happens. And for me, it's a fantastic feeling getting all those and reversing the aging process. So or slowing it down, should we say, I don't think reversing <laughs> can happen. Can we get younger? <laughs> Who knows? But it's slowing it down. And a number of you guys have picked up on that. And I know that you're in similar age groups to us. And it's a great feeling, isn't it, to know that whilst we are getting older, we can do things, take positive action to reduce the aging process or to slow it down or whatever the technical word is. But enough gibbering from me. See you at the next video. Love you all. And thanks so much for the uh, support comment. Yeah, leave loads of comments down there. 
It's fantastic reading them all and I'll aim to reply to each and every one of you. Thank you so much. I salute you all. Bye-bye. Mm -hmm.